Here's the Chronicles. It's day 100. And it is thunderstorm. And it started about, uh, about five minutes after our alarm went off. So I don't know how much rain we just had, but it was a lot. So yeah, it's 641. Got a little bit later start because of this yuck. So now I'm gonna drive to work. Alright, 7.34. I'm here. There's like literally no cars in the parking lot. Which is weird. Like not a one. Huh. Weird. Okay, got some moisture right here. The dryer vent right here, right? Is that what that is? Yeah. So we're near the dryer. Okay. Turn the loose. Yeah, leave your light for a sec. Found your mosquito problem. I should have brought my lower side back here. Shit. There's another one there. Yeah. I might come back. How deep there. is that? Like two inches deep? Over back at three inches deep in the corner? Oh, uh, this is deeper in the corner. I'll say about two and a half. I'm gonna get this tumble one more time. Okay, it's uh 426. Just now leaving the office. Um, get ready to head back to the house. But first I have to stop and get gas because I've got 90 miles until empty, which technically I can I'll probably make it most of the way to Albemarle, but as you know that independence scoot over I got to do I'll probably burn like six gallons doing that so I don't know I really want to drive my Hellcat to work but the pollen is just too insane bird for me to do that I don't really want to mess with the pollen and cleaning it up again just yet traffic's still a little bit busy for my liking with that crazy clutch I mean it's got a super stiff clutch in it and it just turn your leg to goo if you're like doing a lot of stop and go which is supposed to have a tough clutch um, because it's got to have one but uh, yeah so I'm gonna drive and I'll uh, crawl three houses and did a carpenter bee spray today um, did some training with uh, this cat he's he's being pretty cool um, unfortunately we didn't find any old evidence of termites or any new evidence of termites so I couldn't really show him that but I did get to show him some other stuff so it was kind of cool alright so as you can see I don't know what day of the shelter in place we are but it is just like crap tons of people people walking I mean look at this and it's, not, it's like not even 5 o'clock it's like 4.30 it's in 5 o'clock traffic just non-stop cars I don't understand like why all these people have to be on the road right now look at look up there can you see and just a row of them why are we doing it it's just ah uh, it's just so frustrating and I don't know I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand why that many people are doing this. I mean, I'm just... We'll, we'll see how far back I am at this stoplight. Because the light just turned red. Up there. And, of course... This is how many cars. I mean... And they're just... Everybody switching lanes, left and right. Like, nobody knows where they're going. It is no different than... If we didn't have a pandemic going on. I don't... I just... This is what really gets me, I think. Yeah, so this is what gets me because, you know, we just got the stress of this. It's just, you know, I think if it was, it was a normal day, there was no pandemic, there was no shelter in place, yeah, there's traffic. I get it. It's Charlotte. It's going to be traffic. I get it. I mean, go to Atlanta. There's going to be traffic. 
but go to Atlanta right now and there's not. So it stresses me out because I, I know every one of these people are not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not all essential. There's no way. Or if they are, then essential is like some stupid label that only excludes like 10% of the population or something. I'm not really sure, but just tons of people. Sorry, bumpy. Just going to get a little bit. I don't know, the traffic, blah, 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 is boring. But, you know, anybody watching this is tired of this, you know, having to deal with this and having, you know, all this going on and wondering when it's going to be over and when can we get back to normal? When can the economy start to heal? Where can people get their jobs back, etc., etc.? For all of you who can't see it, this is this is why. And like this is the development over here. Like they're still working on it. They're nonstop working on this structure. I, I don't understand how that helps flatten the curve by allowing them crews of all kinds of contractors to keep working on it. I mean I'm not somebody who's wanting people not to have money or make money. I mean, I don't want people to not be able to make a living, but, I mean, couldn't we all just stop for two weeks? Like, everybody, just stop. Except for proper essential people, like doctors or pharmacists maybe or something, you know. Maybe have a crew of people that deliver groceries or something. I don't know to, to people who would eat them. But, again, if you know it's coming, if you go, hey, on this date, you will be fined if you get caught on the road then people can prepare beforehand to make sure they've got supplies for two weeks and, and make it two weeks because I think people buy panic buy stuff because they don't know how long they would be in that situation look we're just gonna do this for two weeks and then it's gonna be back to normal or back to the how it was before just to see if it helps if it does help great if it doesn't uh, who cares doing road construction because how does that help flatten the curve I mean, honest to God, you're going to do road construction? Of course, this person has no idea what that arrow sign means, but, I mean, how is this? I don't know. I don't get it. So we can't stop doing this, and I don't even know what they're doing. They're just making the road wider, maybe? I, I don't even know what they're doing. I mean, it's not like there's a sinkhole that people are falling into, and it's like, you know, an endangerment to populace. No, it's just, we're just making the road wider for some reason. Probably so people can turn around because of that new development they got over there. I'm not really sure. But anyway, this is this is what frustrates me. This is what makes me just mentally just spent at the end of the day. It's not the actual physical job. It's driving in this knowing that every car you see is not doing what they should be doing. I mean, there's no way. There's no way all these people are essential. They're not all going to work. That person's riding three or four deep. Got the kids in the car. I mean, all right, that guy might be. He's a painter. I mean, you know, we definitely need to, you know, paint during that's essential because we could paint the coronavirus away. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be negative, but it's just frustrating. I hope it frustrates you. Actually, I don't hope it don't frustrate you. I hope you're positive and you're happy. I just want you to understand why I'm so frustrated. All right, so I just got done getting gas um, at Shell Station, and it was a dollar seventy-six a gallon. So for it was, you know, getting pretty low. Like I had like eighty miles, maybe seventy miles left empty. So maybe three gallons of gas left in the tank. Filled it up, and it was twenty-nine dollars and seventy-five cents. All I could do to get the 75, I couldn't get it to 30. So that's pretty cool. I'm digging this low gas price thing. I don't know what's why it's like that, but it's, I'm glad. All right, so Albemarle, is it better? Not really. Just a line of cars come out of Walmart, and there's still a line of cars over there too. Yes, I don't. I don't really know what's going on. 
They're not going to work. She's not dressed for work. She's dressed for clubbing, I guess. I don't know what she's doing. But yeah, it's clearly not any different. I mean, it's 520, so it's not even really like supper time um, for most people. Like most of the drive through stuff, uh, it's not super full. I mean, they're average, you know, but we've got tons of people at Tractor Supply and uh, tons of people over there at the Harbor Freight Store uh, and just it's just it's like normal like this is honestly what it's usually like in Albemarle like on a random day it's, there, it's, there's zero difference at all and I don't understand why there's so many people it's just it's wild Aaron's guy like he's like on a mission I don't know hey, worst driver ever but there's tons of cars there too I guess you know maybe getting furniture during the thing is a thing I, I don't know I kind of thought the furniture stores were closed but what do I know I don't know anything but yeah it's just it's still crazy I'm just going to videotape a little bit because I mean you know everybody I talk to is like Oh, well, it's not that bad. It's a lot better. I'm like, no, it's really not, though. It's really not any better. And this is kind of proving it to me that, you know, so all these people are coming home from work or all these people are going to work and they work an essential job is what you're saying. I mean, look at it. It's just car after car after car. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they do, but I mean, he's got, He's got a board because I don't know. It's 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 crazy. It's it's so hard for me to like not to take this seriously. I mean, I want to, and I believe that it's a thing, and you know, we got to get it right. But look at this. All these people, just just cars. I don't know. Infuriates me. So that's that's what it's like for me. Um, I've got to stop and get the trash can because today was trash day. So fortunately, I remembered to take it out, even though we didn't really have a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but I got to get that. Oh, sorry for the Pacquiao. That's just like right in your face. Ugh. Couldn't help it. Now I look all angelic. Not even a little bit, but whatever. So yeah, uh, thing says I got mask washable. Okay, oh, so he's got mask and something. I'm sure he's probably charging for it because people gotta make a living. Maybe he's being a good citizen and just trying to help out. It's gotta be disappointing the amount of traffic that's coming by his house though, because that would make me really mad to sit there and make all these masks for people and. You know, gloves and whatnot, so they could be safe. And then this is what's we're running into. It's just crazy. Just it's it's literally just like you know, Charlotte's always. It, it might be lighter. I mean, because it, it is usually traffic, but Albemarle, like, this is what it's usually like in a small town. It really is. So I don't know. I'm gonna grab a trash can and check the mail and. All, I know. all right, so this is day 100. Um, I'm gonna walk to the farmhouse where it gets a little more light so that way I'm not in the dark so much. I'll be in the dark for a minute. A minute here, it is moon time, which we, we are not see it from this angle. Uh, sorry, I should have just waited till I got over here to the light, but I didn't. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Anyway, day 100. Quick recap, had to go to uh, Food Line today to get uh, baby wipes because, you know, I crawl under houses. I, I put my hands in way more gross stuff than coronavirus to me, like rat feces, rat pee, cat pee, possum pee, whatever it is. <coughs> Burping video. Um, whatever it might be in the uh, crawl space floor. And then I got to go eat. Well, 
as convenient if you got a gas station that's not gross right next to it, but sometimes you don't. In this case, we didn't. So, how am I supposed to eat? So, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to... Oops. Sorry. I'm going to go into Food Line. I'm going to get some... See if they got hand sanitizer. See if they got something that I can wash my hands with in the truck. At least kind of get most of the grook... Grook? Yuck off my hands. The gross yuck off my hands. So, I can eat my cheeseburger. Simple. So, I go to Food Line... But guess what? Every food line's got different layouts. So I'm wandering around the store. I've never really bought hand sanitizer before from Food Line. So I don't really know where it is. So I'm walking around the store like, is this, is this? And I'm just looking for empty shelves because there's a good chance that the empty shelf is where it was. And then I got to read the tag. So I'm walking around this whole store trying to find it. Cause I'm like, is it going to be by the soap? So it'd be by the health of the body? Would it be in the health care? I don't know where it would be. So. I don't know. So my thing is, why don't they have a board, a dry erase board outside, and write down the items that you were sold out of? Because if he were to say, we do not have hand sanitizer on the outside of that board, I wouldn't have went in your store. It's that simple. I went to get one thing. I would have went to Walgreens. But why should I go into four stores to find hand sanitizer? And if nobody's got it, I don't need to go into any store. I mean, some stores are small, but God, it's common sense but no no board we're just gonna have everybody's brother run around the store now some places you got associates everywhere and you just walk in the door and be like hey do you got this and they go no and then you walk back out but food line is not one of those we got tons of associate places so you got to wander around trying to find somebody you get near associate you're like doing this stuff they don't want to talk to you don't want to get near you they don't want to it's not they don't want to like they're, they're, they just want to avoid you. So, I don't know. That was just one of my little ideas. But what do I know? I'm just a stupid country boy from North Carolina. Don't know anything. So, anyway, tomorrow won't be so negative, I hope. I've got, uh, I think I've got an office day tomorrow. I think I've got a meeting, which I've got to go download an app. Because, you know, we got to have 20 apps to work at this place. Um, cause I've got like group me, I've got like some kind of video chat one. This is like zoom and I got an, a, a gusto app for pay. I mean, it's just like, ah, for God's sake, guys, like, can we not have that many, but whatever, I got to figure that out. That's at three o'clock. So I don't know, should I be sitting in the office having this conversation for the meeting? Can I be driving? Should I leave early and come here and try to do it? I, I don't know. It's just chaos. But I need a shower. I didn't get to sleep till like midnight last night. So, and this is a long video. So it's going to take up all my space and take forever to upload. Ugh. Glad tomorrow's Friday and payday.